This is the scene we're going to do today. I'm calling this one Autumn Canal. And let's begin. Alright, I am going to start by stamping in the stone walls. So I'm just using some Memento Tuxedo Black. Now I'll take the little bridge. Okay, I'll take my Memento Tuxedo Black marker and just kind of fill in here. Okay, next I'm going to use this to just add some of this water here. And I'm going to use some Distress Ink Tumbled Glass. Okay, now we'll do some Mermaid Lagoon. Okay, and now I'll do some Memento Tuxedo Black. Okay, and next I'm going to do the bridge again. And I will stamp a reflection of it in the water. And I'm going to take this and kind of smush it out a bit. Okay, now I'm going to take my Memento Tuxedo Black here and just redefine the bottom of this. And this is the Tombow N00. This is a colorless blender that I'm using to blend the color in. Okay, next I'm going to use the Sedge Filler Stamp. Okay, and now I'll use some of my Tombow markers. This is number 969, and I'm also going to use N00, the Colorless Blender. Okay, for the rocks on the side, I'm going to use N79 and the N00. And I've noticed that the Tombow Colorless Blender tends to smear the Memento inks that I had used to stamp out the original stamps. So I probably would want to use a different ink. Okay, and I'll use some N15 for the darkest regions here. Okay, I'm going to use some 249 and my colorless blender for the grasses up here. Okay, next I'm going to use this stamp and I'll start with my Tombow marker 249 here. OK, 
Okay, then I'll use some Memento Tuxedo Black. Okay, next I'll use my Sedge Filler stamp and the 249 Tombow Marker. Okay, I'll use some 55 Tombow Marker. Okay, I'll, now I'll use some 946. And I also added some of the orange to the water, smearing the stamp after I stamped it. And then I also went back and added some of the yellow. Okay, and then I'll also add some of that to the sedge grass in the back. Okay, now I'll use some of this 452 and this water ripple stamp. Okay, now I'll use a white gel pen. And then I use some of the green combo marker with the colorless blender to shadow in the background. Okay, to add a little bit, I'm going to add some 969 here. And blend it out with N00. Okay, and I'm going to add some more white gel pen highlights. And I'm going to use some Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink. And I'm just going to use a wadded up piece of paper towel. And just add a little bit of mist. I'm going to use just the tips of this stamp right here and I'm going to color it with the 249. Use some 847 to just add some dots to make little flowers. Okay, to help enhance the shadows, I'll take some of my Memento Tuxedo Black and just put it on a paper towel and just kind of pounce it back here. Okay, next I'm going to take the Tiny Rocks stamp and I'll use my Memento Tuxedo Black. Let's see, and I think I'm going to also add some more of these. And I'm using the Tombow green color as well as some Memento Tuxedo Black. And now I'm using some of the Tombow orange color. 
and more of the Memento Tuxedo Black. And back to the Tombow Green. Okay, I'll use my white gel pen. Okay, and I've put some Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White into a small container here and diluted it with some water. And then I have a small paintbrush and I'm just going to flick some of these onto the piece here. Okay, and I'm going to give this a chance to dry, and we'll be back. Okay, and I think I'll go ahead and sign and date this now. And I think I'm also going to add some sun rays, so I'll use my Hero Arts again. I use a clean piece of paper towel, and I'm going to have the sun rays coming from this light area right here. And so everything's going to kind of come to a point. Okay, now I've let this dry for a couple of hours now, and I'm going to take it outside and spray a couple of coatings of the Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating and we'll be back. Okay, I've sprayed it with the Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating and it is a little bit sticky because of all the pigment ink. So I'm going to also spray uh, one coat of the Krylon workable fixative on it. Alright, now I'm going to take my sprayed scene and I'm going to Put it on some white printer paper. Okay, and then I'm going to take some black cardstock and here's the final piece after it's been matted and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!